Hey guys, this story is excerpted from Ian Brown's Red Sox Beat newsletter. To read the full bulletin, I'll leave the link in the description of this video. If you want to always be updated, leave that like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything from your heart team. So, aware of the information, let's go to the Sox video. Folks, everyone knew it was coming. But it was still shocking for a Red Sox fan to see him when the news hit various local and national platforms on Monday. Xander Bogaerts gives up the last three years of his contract, becomes a free agent. For the first time since signing with Boston as a 16-year-old international free agent from Aruba in 2009, Bogaerts is no longer a member of the Red Sox. However, baseball boss Heim Bloom hopes this status will only be temporary. In his words, quotes, We are not happy that he chose not to participate. It's disappointing because Xander has been giving this organization credit every day he's been in it. We want him here, Bloom told the Boston Globe and The Athletic as he arrived at the GM meetings in Las Vegas on Monday night. He makes us better. We are not shocked. We expected this. Free agency is a big part of this game. It's a big deal for players. When he signed the extension, he chose to give up that right for a while, and he also guaranteed that he would have that right again in a few years. This right to have your market fully celebrated by the market is something important to many players. It's something you have to earn, and he did. We respect his right to exercise it and exploit the market. We want him back and will continue to engage with him. If Bogaerts can't find common ground with the only team he's ever played for, the Red Sox have some attractive alternatives. There are three other main shortstops in the free agent market, Carlos Correa, Tree Turner and Dansby Swanson. The Sox can also take Trevor Story back to the shortstop and spend their money in another position of need, such as second base or outfield. But in Bogaert's case, statistical value is far from the only thing at stake. He's our first choice, Bloom said. That won't change. But part of our job is to explore all the options to field an opposing team next year and build a really good group. We need to explore every possible way to do this, but Bogey is our first choice. So that's it folks. I hope you liked this video. I see you next time.